One of the biggest first steps in improving your Smash game is being able to quickly adapt to your opponent and punish them for making the same mistakes repeatedly. I'm going to be talking about bad habits that players often make with specific characters and what level of play that they mostly affect. I also have to define a general outline of the skill levels that I'll be using. In this video, a beginner is one who understands all the controls and all the characters' moves and is generally comfortable with recovering with their character, but they're probably not even the best at Smash among their casual friend group. Now, low level will be someone who's the best amongst their friends, but the second they go online, they found themselves in a world of hurt. They may have watched a few videos online to try and get better, but they don't have a complete picture of the game. And mid level in this will be someone who understands most of the higher level tech and maybe is on the lower end of Elite Smash with their main. They may sometimes go to tournaments, but they'll probably end up going 0 and 2 or 1 and 2. Now, I know in a tournament context, my definition of a mid level player would probably be a low level player. But once you get past a certain level of play, bad habits are a little less universal and tend to be more player-based than specific character-based. So starting with Mario, one of the few universal habits is the tendency to forward air way too often when the opponent is off stage. My opponent's at 10% and can make it back even if I hit it? Forward air. Opponent 180 and will die to almost any move? Forward air. Now, forward air doesn't come out until frame 16, it's slower than all of Mario's smash attacks. So while it is a hype move and nice for a mix-up or maybe calling out a jump, oftentimes you're better off just throwing out some back airs or even a neutral air when your opponent's at high percents. They come out much faster and are safer to use. Mario's up smash and forward smash are decently safe on shield and can be difficult to punish. Oftentimes, Mario mains can spot dodge an opponent who's trying to punish you, and then they can punish the opponent for rushing in. Other decent options include throwing out a quick move like Jab, or even going for another forward smash or up smash. A mistake I often see Mario players is doing the same option every time their move is blocked. At lower levels, a roll is also a very common option. So if you're against Mario, maybe don't even go for a punish the first time, just see what your opponent does and be ready to punish them for it the next time it happens. For lower level players, Donkey Kong's bad habits generally just come down to using too many smash attacks and punishable moves. My advice would just be to stay out of their range and punish or short hop over them and try and hit them with a combo starting aerial. Now at little bit higher levels, Donkey Kong mains also love breaking your shield with side B. It obliterates a nearly full shield, so you have to watch out for it. But DK mains often get a little too side B happy. The shield's a little low, they're gonna come in in side B. If you're sitting in shield in neutral, they're gonna run up in side B. So your best bet is to try and bait it out and either spot dodge or short hop over it. Donkey Kong has a ton of edge guarding options. However, just like with Mario, forward air is often the only one used. Back air is another great tool, and down air or down B can catch opponents coming straight up. You also have cargo throw against the stage, which is a DK classic. Against lower level players, this will work almost every time, but once you get to the better players, they're going to more consistently tech against the wall, and then punish you for trying to do that. You're often left in a very bad spot, and combined with DK's horrible recovery, you may end up getting reverse edge guarded for doing that. Now, low level Link mains are very predictable. I'm in the air above my opponent, down air. I'm on the ground and my opponent's above me, up smash. Both of these moves are very punishable. Down air can be beat out by disjointed moves or just spot dodging. Down air is actually decently safe if thrown out very high and auto cancelled, but you can often get out of the way of it and then hit them right before they land. Link mains will often try and camp you out, and it may seem impossible to get in. But, many lower level Link players often have a pattern to the moves that they throw out. They might do something like boomerang, arrow, arrow, boomerang, arrow, arrow, and so on. If you're able to pay attention to the order that they throw them out, you might have a little bit easier of a time getting in. Lower level Samus and Dark Samus players, like Link mains, are often known for being very campy. They often get very predictable with how they use their missiles and charge shots, so if you recognize how they use them, you can get in a lot easier. Samus and Dark Samus both have long, slow rolls, with Samus's being slightly slower in exchange for a smaller hurtbox when rolling, 
but that makes it easier to punish. A common bad habit that Samus mains will do is charge up right at the edge of the stage and roll inwards when you approach. If you're ready for it, you can punish it very hard. Now, a great option for Samus mains when holding onto the ledge is to jump from ledge with an aerial, forward air especially. However, on block, you can usually punish it. I see this happen all the time with Samus players, so just be ready for that forward air. Now, like Mario's and Donkey Kong's, Yoshi's forward air is an extremely satisfying move to land. But it's not the only edgeguarding tool that Yoshi has. You can throw eggs, go for a long-lasting back air or even down air, or just throw out a quick neutral air. Mixing it up is the key, so while forward air may be a great move, you also have other options. Since Yoshi doesn't have many great throw combos, oftentimes Yoshi players may try grab releasing and follow up from there. However, they are often predictable with the options they use. Usually they're going to either jab or down B. If they jab the first time you shield it, the next time they will try and down B to break your shield. So be prepared for both of those options. Beginner Yoshis love spamming down B. The move is pretty powerful, it can break shields, but it is very predictable and punishable on whiff. The stars that come out on the side of Yoshi have a hitbox, so be aware of that when going in for the punish. If you dash away from the falling Yoshi, you can often short hop over them and go for a combo starting aerial, or you can just run in and punish if you have a quick move. Kirby is often known as the noob character, which is why it's always surprising to see someone who plays well with Kirby. One of the most iconic noob moves is Kirby's down B. Floating up to the top of the screen and using the move against someone on the ground is a staple of the beginner player. The move is very punishable and can be grabbed out of, or you can just wait for them to get out of it and hit them with an up smash, or really just hit with the move of your choice. Be careful though, because they can air dodge pretty quick afterwards, but they are vulnerable enough to be able to usually get a strong hit off. Also, the stone breaks when hit by a move that does 25% or more, but they only take half damage. Hammer is also a very common noob move, as it is incredibly slow, very punishable, and even takes percent when you hold it too long and are below 100. If you do have a projectile, you can just hit them and knock them out of the hammer, but remember they can jump while holding it. You can usually avoid Kirby and just wait for them to throw it out and then punish them for using it. Also remember that they can swing twice while they're in the air. Speaking of punishable special moves, Kirby's up B has a lot of end lag when used on stage. If the Kirby drifts back with it, it can be hard to punish from the ground, and you'll usually have to hop over the projectile portion. But if Kirby lands right against your shield with it, you'll be able to punish pretty well out of shield. Now, once Kirby's get over their down B phase, they often replace it with a different move, and that is down air. Down air has a ton of reward for hitting it and can be a great combo starter, but the move doesn't come out until frame 18, which is two frames slower than Ganondorf's down air, and it can be easily beat out by disjoints and often punished on block. Fox mains actually get a very decent reward if they hit a side B, often being able to follow up with an up air which can lead to a kill. However, on block they are punishable, and oftentimes you're able to punish the fox very hard for landing on stage with it. So a good idea would be to stand on stage not in shield when the fox player recovers to try and bait it out. You can often just dash back forward smash and land a kill. The same goes for up B, landing on stage with either of these moves are pretty punishable. Now neutral air to up smash is a great combo for fox. It's a fantastic way to secure some early kills. But oftentimes, when you're at that magic percent for it, that's going to be all the fox is looking for. So if you have any disjointed moves, you can usually beat it out, or if you can just dash away, you can punish them right before he lands. You can also do some quick out of shield options, which may work, but that depends on the character. So I made this video with the intention of getting the entire first row done, but this ended up being much longer than anticipated, and I don't want to make 30 minute long videos. So if this video does well, I would love to continue making these, but they are a ton of editing, and this took a surprisingly long amount of time to make since I mostly got the footage from real matches. So let me know in the comments if you want to see this continued with the rest of the cast, 
or if you just have any advice for making these videos more helpful to you. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.